Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking. What can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clog line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just a click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing. Weather Extreme Video, this is the afternoon edition. For Monday the 4th of March, I'm James Spann. Get ready for sub-freezing temperatures for the next three nights. Then we warm up and more storms are likely at some point this weekend. So let's go in there and talk about things. Very deep, cold upper trough over much of the North American continent. After clouds this morning, the skies become partially sunny as expected. That's the visible satellite view this afternoon. Temperatures, hey, we ought to be up in the 60s in March. We are only in the 30s in many areas. In fact, it's below freezing at 2.30 for Haleyville, Coleman, and barely above freezing at Fort Payne with 33. How about that? Around the nation, hard to find any warmth. You need to go down to South Florida where they're warm. Other than that, it's pretty cold for this time of the year. Freeze warnings all across the deep south. Temperatures go below freezing again for the next three nights. And thankfully, with cold, stable air, no severe weather issues for the next few days. But that might change this weekend. Here's the precipitation for the next seven days. Again, California wet. Parts of the deep south wet. Uh, this is suggesting rain amounts here between one and two inches. And again, this is between now and Monday morning of next week. We might see a few showers Friday, but the better round of storms will occur this weekend. So model fans, let's go. The GFS, this is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at noon. Still got the big trough over the east. Now, tonight, a little wave scoots along the Gulf Coast. That might squeeze out a little light rain for parts of South Alabama and maybe even a few ice pellets or snowflakes over parts of east central Alabama and central Georgia. Wouldn't that be interesting? This is this is the HER model at midnight tonight, suggesting maybe a few ice pellets around Auburn, Opelika, Columbus, Georgia, and maybe a few light snowflakes around Atlanta. No impact if that happens. And then tomorrow, cold and dry, mostly sunny with a high in the 40s. We start the day well down in the 20s. In fact, uh, Birmingham will see a low close to 20. Colder pockets will visit the teens. This is Wednesday, same thing. We start the day down around 20. The high will be upper 40s in most spots. The, spots, the sky will be sunny. And Thursday, we're expecting mid-20s to start the day, but then we warm up. The high Thursday should be in the low 60s. It'll feel much better. And then Friday, upper 60s are likely as moisture comes back and a warm front lifts north. Have the chance of showers on Friday, not an all-day rain. And Saturday, here comes a new storm gathering strength across the Great Plains. Deep surface low over Kansas, a secondary surface low near Shreveport. Big snows north and west of there, and obviously a chance of severe storms in the warm sector. And for us, Saturday should be very mild. We go up in the 70s, and there could be a few showers during the day, but not a washout. The main batch of storms coming in here Saturday night. This is Saturday night at midnight. Very deep surface low north of Kansas City, a secondary surface low near Nashville. And that would suggest a chance of strong to severe storms in here Saturday night. But remember, this is five days out. Things could change, but that's the way it looks now. Too early for details. And then Sunday, precipitation ends early in the day. And there's no cold air involved in this. Uh, we'll still be mild. High should be in the 60s on Sunday. And a week from today, this is Monday, the 11th of March, troughing over the northeast. Big trough uh, off the California coast, and for us, that would be dry and pleasant with lows in the 40s and highs around 60. We'll go out 10 days Thursday of next week, March 14th, troughing to the west, and that looks wet, maybe stormy. Here are the numbers coming off the GFS Ensemble. We warm up into the 70s, I think, this weekend. Uh, again, at some point, we could do highs well up in the 70s, maybe Saturday. But then maybe cooling down a little bit Monday, but not much. After that, temperature is pretty close to average for mid-March. No sign of any late-season freeze after this week. But I always caution people, if you're planning something that would be harmed by a freeze, I would wait until tax day, April 15th. We've had a freeze here as late as April 23rd. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. 
Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call plumbing experts today.